Hey, me lie. You lie, baby. Oh. What you doing? I know. Hey, baby. Hey. Come here. Look, it's right here. It's right here, Mila. Look, Mila. What you doing, baby girl? She said, we're getting ready for Happy's birthday party. Happy will be four years old tomorrow, Mila. Right? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Yeah, I had, to, I had to remember to make sure it is Friday. Yes. So it's Friday. She says, hey, everybody. Are you being cute? Oh, look how cute Mila is. Yeah. Look how cute Mila is. She said, we're getting ready for Happy's birthday party. We're going to have the family over. And then we we haven't had a pool party or anything. And since we, had, we hadn't really had a chance to. Um, still settling in and all that. And we finally, for happy birthday, we're going to, and it's going to be like 72 degrees and rainy all day here tomorrow. So we're going to do like an inside and a little bit of an outside. If we can't use the pool, we can go out in a carport. Yeah, we have a big carport too, and everybody can hang out outside if they want. Or inside. Yeah. I know, Mila. Are you a good girl? What did, what did you get happy for his birthday, Mila? She says, surprises. It's a surprise. Yeah. So I'm charging my phone for a few minutes. Uh, give me just a few minutes, let it charge, and I'll take me out to the pool. She was just out there. She said, I'm not scared of it. She might actually get in it with me. Maybe. I don't know. The other night I got in it, uh, we had to add, I added some water to it, and it had rained, and that pool was actually a little bit chilly. Like, not cold, but... Not too cold, but... Oh, that's blue. Look. See blue on my shirt? Look, Mila. Mila, who's that? Right here. Uh, who is this? Who is that? Says boo. Says my man. Says my man. No, no. Oh, are you hanging out with daddy? Look, somebody sent you some stars. Thank you, guys. No, oh, Mila. He was just all moving around and talking and everything. And she said, well, I, I, the camera's on. I got to be cute. Come get on my shoulder, baby. Hey, Mila, come get on my shoulder, please. Come on. Up here, this one. Come here. There you go. That's a good girl. That's a good baby. You checking daddy out? Okay. <laughs> my hair's messed up. Don't do that. She said, there's Monkey Boo. That's my boyfriend. This is my daddy. Yeah. Yes, we got the new place. We've been here for a little while. We're still settling in. Lots and lots to do. <laughs> all the floors and stuff are done now. All the paintings done. Everything's done. Just getting everything where it's supposed to be. Right? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Me that tickles. You give daddy kisses on the ears. Happy will be four years old tomorrow. Yep. He'll be four. Yep. Little Ollie just had his birthday. Now it's Happy's turn. And then next month is Boo's. Boo! You'll be 13 next month, right? Yeah. No, Boo is Mila's man. Happy, she said, Happy's just my little buddy. She said, Boo's my boyfriend. Quit. She said, Boo's got more money than Happy. Quit, Mila. Quit licking my ear like that. I know, I love you too. Quit. That tickles. It tickles real bad. She's like, I can stick my tongue in your ear far enough I can touch brains. Come up here. Down my shoulder. Oh, goodness. Look at her. She's so dramatic. Me, uh, talk. Tell them. She's 
I just want to lay on your lap, Daddy. Please. Please. Hello in New York there, Peggy. We're having a good day. Tell her, Mina. Say to Mars, happy birthday. He's getting all the attention. Mina's jealous. Come here on Daddy's lap. Come here. Hey, stay right here, Mila. There's a little doggy there. Come here, baby. Mila, what are you doing, baby? This is that doggy coming here. I was gonna tell it. Get out of here. <laughs> Look, Christine just sent you some stars. Thank you, Christine. Mila, are you pitching a little fit? No, I didn't hurt her feelings. The little doggy coming here. She don't know how to. She don't know how to react to them doggies. Let's see what. Boo! <laughs> hey, boo! <laughs> hey, Mila. Me, me, oh, you sucking on your your toe thumb? You're so pretty. Mila. No, Mila. Look at that pretty girl. Look at her cute little face. She said, I'm daddy's girl. I'm only happy when I'm with daddy. Mila, did you go? She rode around on the llama or with daddy. I just want to see how she'd do it. I might can cut the grass with a monkey on my back. She was just riding around. She said, I had a cool breeze blowing through my hair. Yeah. Did you like that ride? <laughs> I didn't know how she was going to act because it was, the lawnmower was noisy, but she was cool. She was riding around and you could see her hair blowing in the breeze. She said, we rode down to the mailbox and checked the mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's what, about 125 yards or so to the mailbox. I ride the lawnmower down there. <laughs> it's, you have to walk back uphill <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of a slope. Somebody's in England. Come here, little girl. Let me fix this. Let me, this. Let me have some of that cord, baby. You're laying on it. Thank you. Look at all them stars, Mila. 1,700 stars, baby. You're awesome. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Little Mila. You want to go out to the pool in a minute, Mila? So I'll have to do a video. Not tonight now, but... um. Mila and I will walk out into the pool. I'll let her get on my shoulder, and I'll walk out and see how she acts. What do you think, Mila? She's okay. She's somewhere in a bathing suit. She's, I'm not going after her unladylike. No. But what's really cool about our pool, I don't know if you guys have seen it in other videos, like I went out to the pool a couple times. Like I literally come out of the bedroom, <laughs> no clothes on, straight to the pool. <laughs> clothing, when nobody's here, clothing is completely optional at the pool. And nobody can see. And if anybody was to come up, like I'll see them coming before they see me. <laughs> Hope none of the neighbors have a drone or anything. They're flying around. <laughs> right, Mila? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, give my kisses, Mila. <laughs> oh, she's a good girl. So how has everybody been? Boo will be 13 next month. And tomorrow, little Happy will be four years old. We're having a family get-together, too. Tyler will be here, and Alyssa, and Grandma Boo, yeah, and Uncle Jeff, and my Aunt Teresa's coming over, and I think Uncle Jimmy's coming, the whole family's coming over, and then some, a few friends are stopping by, too. It's a, it's a, it's a celebration about little happy, it's all about happy.
how is the weather in the south um it's actually been hot <laughs> but the uh yes i skinny dip <laughs> i invented skinny dipping what are you talking about um so but we're we planned all week to have happy's birthday thing tomorrow and when i looked at the weather i was so disappointed like literally the high is like 73 or 74 i think they raised it up a little bit but at eight o'clock in the morning it's 100 percent chance of rain so hopefully tomorrow afternoon it'll clear off a little bit no she's not i mean are you sad she's like no look at me i got it made in the shade oh hey mila So we have new furniture, the new, the new leather furniture we got here is a chair. We're gonna have to, my recliner, my massage recliner that's black, um, and I believe this chair, we're gonna sit in the monkey room and set a TV up in there, because I have a separate living room for the monkeys. It's never been like that, and I think they want me, they like for me to sit in. It's like, Daddy, if you wanna watch football, you can sit in the room with us and watch the football games and stuff. 100 here you're somewhere out southwest probably maybe in texas i'm guessing i seen i ate southern california at like 100 degrees right now today yeah i seen it was hot out there dry heat but like we didn't have a real cold cold winter here last year and like the bugs are ridiculous it's like mosquitoes and these uh, fruit flies have invaded North Carolina in the last few years. And even uh, my son's girlfriend, she lives over in the city in a condo. And even they were talking about how, like, they're just everywhere. And it's, we didn't have, like I said, we didn't have a real cold, cold winter last year. I think that's had a lot to do. We, there's a lot of bugs this year. Yeah. Right, Mila? So, let's see. Our adventures, I didn't see it, but... Reportedly, there was a small snake in the garage. He was exterminated. Yeah, it was just a little baby one, but we had to get not in the garage. That's too close. Uh, I seen a groundhog, and I've seen a few deer and a bobcat. One night, uh, I did see a bobcat off the side of the driveway. It was pretty neat. It wasn't like I was on the lawnmower with the lights, and it was dark. So I turned and shined the lights, and it kind of looked at me for a second, and then it ran off. But yeah, it's a bobcat. What, Mila? She said, I'm, I don't mess with those. She said, I met one one time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to make you play with a bobcat, Mila. Don't worry, baby. Like out the window, there's several, three windows, big windows in the room there where their enclosures are. Like they may have seen some stuff outside that we hadn't. Oh, and uh, last weekend for like three days straight into the first of the week, this went on. Uh, have you guys ever lived close to a, a farm where they have cows? Where they raise cows. So I think it was Saturday night. Uh, we were outside and you could hear the cows at the, it's probably a quarter mile from us, the next land over. But um, the, uh, these cows were all making this like really disturbing moves. Like something was clearly rattling those cows. I mean, they remember? And I, like, I've never heard cows make those kind of noises. And at first I was like, man, something like a coyote or something has rolled up and is messing with those cows. Well, it went on all night. The next morning it was doing it into the next night. And finally, when we were leaving out, I seen the farmer guy and his buddy was outside. So I stopped and I was just that, you know, I was like, man, I was like, is, is everything okay with your cows? And what it was is he had just pulled the babies from the mother. And so it was the babies crying for their mom, wanting that milk. The farmer guy was like, they're just having milk withdrawals. They'd be okay. <laughs> but that's where he was weaning them off of the mothers. And man, for like, he goes, I have to do this once a year. It goes on for two or three days. And it lasted about three days. But it's like, instead of silence of the lambs, it's like the silence of the cows. Do you still hear the cows, Clarice? <laughs> It was, it was weird sounding, but it really sounded like something was getting them. But then when we found out what it was, it's kind of sad because then baby cows would moo, like going, mom. And the big cows would be like, over here, dummy, come over here. So I didn't, I never really thought about that, that, that at some point the cows have to be 
weaned from their mama, and I didn't know they cried for them like that and stuff. I'm learning all kind of farm life out here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Mila seen, she went out to the chickens a while ago. She said, what's up, bitches? <laughs> Our hens. Mila really said it. She's like, hey, bitches, where's my eggs at? So we have 10 hens. You guys probably seen Boo showing them off. They're really cool. They're cool. They're all named Ethel. Ethel 1, Ethel 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. They're all Ethel. I named all of them Ethel. Keep it easy. They're, they all look alike. They all look the same to me. Couldn't name them. One of them's not laying some um, eggs like I want them to. I can't figure out which one it is. Or I'd make an example out of her. It's called fried chicken. Yes, yeah, so I would eat some fried chicken. If Daddy let me have fried foods, I would definitely. You can have grilled chicken. You like grilled chicken? She's like, yes, I like that. What's going on with Happy? What's he doing? What is he doing? I bet he's in there doing those backflips and showing off. Oh, me. <coughs> Little me, huh? Don't go out to the swimming pool, baby. You do? Don't go out to the pool. Get on my shoulder. Come on. Get on my shoulder. Come on. Okay. All right, guys. I got a little bit of ju juice on my phone now. Let's walk out here. Let's see. Hopefully, we'll keep our internet signal. If it goes out, I'll be right. I'll step right back to that. where we're at in the country. Like, we are struggling for Wi-Fi out here. <laughs> the only thing that the only thing you can get is AT&T out here, and it is not the definitely not the best AT&T. The upload speeds are are, are are terrible. They're just terrible. So let's see. Let me let's show him the pool. Okay, there it is. There's me. Let's pool. So you see, we have this thing growing here. It's just a bunch of stuff to cut off the roof, but. Um, Somebody can probably tell me what kind of plant it is. I should know, but I don't. But it's like a little arbor thing that when we out here, we're at the pool. And wow, we had to shock this thing so many times. We've done so much to this pool. It turned green on us. The skimmers capped off. We've got to fix it this winter. It's always something. Right, Mila? What do you think, baby? Let's see if we can keep a signal. Let's, let's see. I walk and stand on the diving board with Mila. Look at her, she thinks she's hot stuff. Mila. We can't drop the phone, baby. If we drop the phone, it's going into the deep end of the pool. All right, here we go, Mila, we're on the diving board. Oh, Mila. Are you See, Boo would be freaking out right now. Boo's like, heck no. Not doing that. Mila said, I got daddy with me. Wonder what she'd do if I jumped in. I'm not doing that. Actually, I'm walking off real careful. We're not dropping the phone in the pool, Mila. No, we don't want to do that. So, yeah, the water on the pool, somebody said it looks great. It's actually still a little bit cloudy, but compared to what it was, like, this time last week, my pool was, like, it went from a couple days before I described it as sprite green to baby poop green. <laughs> and, but, uh, we got it all taken care of. Yeah, Boo will be 13 in October. On October 13th, he'll be 13. Boo, yes. Mia said, my birthday's not till May. I'll be, I, I gotta wait for my next birthday. Right, baby? 16. Mila, are you six now? Yeah. Oh, Mila's got a new doctor. All the monkeys have a new vet. They really like her. Yeah, you like, you like Dr. Ashley? You like her? Yeah, she said, I like her, she's nice. So the way we did it, uh, I, all my monkeys get a tetanus shot every year. Uh, but the, this is the first time they went to the vet. So Mila and Happy have went for their like this wellness check, but Boo goes this coming week. And, but the first time we vid doing this, um, like I don't want nobody to get a shot the first time. I said, I don't care, I'll come back for two visits because that, this, you know, this is going to be my vet probably for like the next, literally like the next 20 to 25 years that I'll be working with her, with my monkeys and stuff. Um, so, you know, they remember when they go to the vet, they remember the vet's office when you pull up. Yes, we moved. And, uh, so the, uh, 
I decided on the first visit, let's just do an interaction, hang out, meet everybody in the office, and, and let's not do any needles at all the first time. And uh, she, she's like, you know, that's actually a really good idea. I was like, been doing this for a little while. <laughs> so I know uh, at the other vet, Boo would do really good, but he figured out he would be super cool with the doctor and all, but at the end, if he he could tell by how our body posture was and how the vet was acting if he had to get a shot. And he did not like it. And now happy don't like it. And Mila said, it's been a year since I've had one. I kind of forgot about it. But like I said, I just thought it would be best on the first uh, trip to a new vet to just to meet everybody. Mila said, it was really good. I liked, I liked going that kind of vet visit. But you got to go back in a few weeks and get a little shot, baby. Just one little, and it'll be over with. And then I could take you and get you a treat. Yeah. But that's one of the their yearly things that I do. I do make sure they get a tetanus shot every year. Right, Mila? So just in case, because we jump around in that crazy, if we ever was to get cut, that could save us. Yeah. Oh, you see, like, I, that's why I can't do videos without my shirt on. My shoulders are just, they're so, they look, I, I'm a I bodybuilder underneath from carrying monkeys on my shoulders. <laughs> right, Mila? Yeah. Sweet baby. Little sweet Mila. Thank you, everybody that sent stars. You guys are awesome. Hey, give me some fives. You better give me some fives. Right now on the backside. Come on, Mila. Give me some fives. She's like, take me in. You want to go inside, Mila? Here, let's go this way. Let's go around this way. And, well, well, we'll lose the internet signal that way. So, here, I'll show you. I'll see if I can show you guys some scenic. So, this is off one side of the house. Like, that's actually a... There's a mountain, a couple mountains that are not, like, you can kind of see that's a little one there that heal off in the distance. Now, that was, that was a Revolutionary War battle fought there. There's a park down there, a state park. There's me with chickens. Let's see if we can. Ethel! Ethel! Gobble, gobble, gobble. No, that's the turkeys. What, are they, what, are they, what sound do the chickens make? Cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> Fix that, Mila. She said, Turn the camera around on me. Oh, wait a minute. There's Mila's flower bed, too. So I can't, it's going to rain tomorrow. Daddy would have to turn the. It has a sprinkler that runs to it. Yeah. There's the basement. We got to. The basement's not finished yet. We got to have a. We got to have it sealed and do the floor and have a drop ceiling put in down there. But once we're done, there'll be like a whole other bedroom, a full bathroom and a living room down there also, like a whole other living area. Right, Mila? Yeah. What do you think about this pool, baby? What do you think about it, huh? So, and then off the back, but as you can see, there's, that's too, sorry, that's so close up. We have all woods back there behind us and, uh, and it goes way back. We have eight acres, so the uh, like all of these woods way back are ours. Maybe one day, time. My man cave is upstairs. It's just my man cave is like a, uh, a kind of an office and a video room. Maybe we'll walk up here and show everybody, Mila. It's not really ready yet, but it's kind of messy. I hung a few pictures and stuff up. You wanna go see it, Mila? You wanna go see you wanna go see Daddy's office and video video room? So I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. Where we'll do video from. So I have a window up there for background and then I'll show you. Let's just go check it out. Let's go. Oh Mia says, gosh, it feels Hey boo! Happy. <laughs> Alright. Let's go show them, Mila. Alright guys. It's still a little bit messy. It'll be okay. So many boxes to go through. Oh. 
Look, I have my Say When, my Doc Holiday drawing with all of his famous quotes. And then my wall of cool people. Any of you want cleaned up? The goat, brother Bob. All right, so we have this table here. It's kind of messy right now, but so we'll sit behind this table sometime with the. Then we have the sofa here. We'll sit on sometimes to do videos. Then sometimes I'll go around to this wall with the scenic view coming out. So we have three walls to film from. So this is kind of like a room. Like I'll be able to slide this table out, put a chair behind it, film it from like this direction here. So that'd be pretty neat. So we got some different backgrounds for videos. Right, Mila? Yes. And the playroom is still being worked on. Here we have, look, there's her brother Ty. This was taken at a uh, third layer skate park in Minneapolis, Minnesota. A few years ago. Tyler was little, Mila. He kicked up that big giant box. Yeah, that picture was actually from uh, the Vulcan website, but the skate park used it for all their advertising that year. Yeah, Tyler did, that was in a, during a contest, he kicked up that big box. He did really good. I was amazed. <laughs> he was, uh, there was some, some really elite skateboarders there, and Ty was like, um, if you know skateboarding, what skateboarding tricks are, like I didn't see anybody even ollie that box from bank to bank. And on the first tie, first attempt, uh, tie kick flip. He didn't just ollie the whole box. He kick flipped over it. It was like, wow. <laughs> all the skaters were like, they all banged their skateboards when the other skateboarders do something good. They thought it was amazing. Did I say Iceland? Yeah. Somebody's from there. You guys don't have internet in Iceland. <laughs> Did I read that wrong? Is that Boo or Happy? Boo. Hey, Boo. He's trying to slide it out. He's trying to move my cage around. Look, we got pictures of Boo. Everybody, there's also some boxes that we're going through right there. So, whoa, me, look, I got said, turn that light on, Daddy. Turn it on when we get downstairs. She says, I don't want you to fall. Me neither. I don't want me to fall either. All right, me, we got to go back to the charger, baby. Sweet Mila. Really? Are you gonna, what you having for dinner, baby? So Happy's having, uh, for Happy's birthday dinner, he got, he's having, uh, I got, well, all the monkeys got a little, they're getting a little steak, yeah. Happy had cooked on the grill, of course. Grilled steak, yeah. And Grandma Boo is making Happy a really healthy cake. It's like a whole wheat cake with, it has some blueberries, just a drip of honey, and what else was in it, Mila? I can't remember. She said, I, it sounded delicious. I want to try it. So it's basically kind of like the monkey biscuits we make, but very healthy. No junk food for my guys. No way, Jose. Not even on birthdays. We don't. We don't have cheat days. No. Daddy said Daddy has us on a very strict diet. Actually, little Mila here has to lose. I want her to lose one and a half pounds. The vet was so impressed with her. Um, Cause like, okay, Mila's six years old. Mila went first. This is when I, when you guys have heard me talk about how I don't help people get monkeys and stuff like that. Let me see. Um, the, uh, Mila's six years old. They've been seeing primates for about eight years at the vet there. I think around eight years, they said. And Mila was the oldest monkey they'd ever seen. You're not old, baby. You're only six, but that just shows you that all the she said all we ever see is babies. No, I'm we're not in Florida or Georgia. <laughs> we're from the Carolinas. So, but anyway, like, uh, and I was like, really? I was like, you guys know I'm bringing Boo. That's like, oh, we love Monkey Boo. And I was, I was like, he'll be down next week. 
But when Mila went, at the time, Mila was the oldest monkey they had ever seen at that vet. Six years old. These guys live 30 to 35 years. So she said they see babies all the time, but so they'll see, they, there was a couple people that they've seen for, you know, every year, a baby, and then all of a sudden they just quit coming because most people don't make it past four years. That's, that's it, it's at like 95%, they don't make it past four years. It's a very, having a monkey is a very, it's not a pit, it is a commitment. It's a, it's a commitment, isn't it, baby? She said, Daddy, you made that commitment times three. Some people think you're crazy, probably, for doing that. <laughs> I love my babies, though. Now, we get to make a lot of people happy, and that's really cool. All right, Mila? Does Mila want... Mila is demanding a snack, I believe. Get your grape. Come on, get on my shoulder. I'll get it. This doesn't matter. <laughs> Mila is jealous of her daddy. Don't get close to daddy, she said. Don't get that on the new couch, okay? Don't get that on the new furniture. Yeah, you only need like one. You squirted juice on me, Mila. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I had a sneezies. Yeah, it's like it, people just don't realize what you're getting yourself into with the with the monkeys. That's 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 the you know I see people all the time posting pictures with their babies and stuff, and like these are older like I, like older women that well, what are you gonna do in five years when this is a this monkey's faster than you, as smart as you, you know, like and not not all monkeys. Monkeys are they're just these capuchin monkeys like this. They're just like people. There's people that are always buttholes, and there's people that are always nice. Like Mila is usually really, really nice, but it just it's. And then you have some people that are nice sometimes and are mean sometimes, and you get the same personality traits in capuchins, like across the board, just like people. Right, Mila? Hey, hey! Oh goodness! Yeah, those three grapes. That's kind of cheating for you, big girl. See, my big girl now. She got to lose like one, one and a half pounds. The doctor said she didn't think she needs to, but I was like, well, she's put on some weight in the last year, so we want her to slim down just a little bit. But the good thing is, is Mila eats lots of greens. Just a while ago, what was she eating? She said, I ate some lettuce and cucumber earlier. <laughs> Mila, come get on my shoulder. That's all of them. We ate them all, baby. Mila, little Mila, hey baby, Pets ten years plus been scammed out of thousands. I don't know what you're talking about. Like most most of the the most of the people I know that would sell monkeys, they don't really. If they advertise it on Facebook, it's in a in a very private group. They don't any of those any. If you ever see a picture of somebody selling monkeys that has a picture of me or my monkeys, that is not us. We do not sell monkeys, nor do I give out any advice on how to get one, where to get one. No breeder information or anything like that. I just don't do that. Mila, come get on my shoulder and I'll give you this. Oh, you need a paper towel, Mila. Here, Dad, get your shirt. It's old, but it's okay. Here, baby. What is that? What is it, Mila? Hey, don't get it on. I got the shirt so it wouldn't get everywhere. See, you said it was an old shirt. It's okay. There was one of those... Damn fruit flies. <laughs> yes, I got it. You got monkeys for your 77th birthday. All right. <laughs> that was pretty brave. I hope you have a backup plan and a backup plan to that.
Look, there's there's Tammy Coe. I haven't seen her in here in a long time. Ooh. I hope you're a young spry 77 if you have baby monkeys. Because they're only going to be babies for a couple of years. Did you? Oh, Princess, you dropped it. I'm sorry, baby, here. You don't like that? No, she don't like it. No, give it to Boo. <laughs> Boo likes those. Yeah. Boo! Yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of well, I'll say like those. A lot of those monkey scammers. Capuchin monkeys are really expensive now too, like a lot of money. So if you see somebody trying to sell one, if it's if it's like a thousand dollars, and what gets me is they'll say tra diaper trained and bottle trained. Man, that's not. There's no. <laughs> you hold a little monkey down and put a diaper on it. There's no training involved. Like there's more person training than there is monkey training. It's a baby monkey. It's a baby. It's gonna, it's gonna depend on you. Like once it's once it bonds with you, it's gonna depend on you. Like it's you're its mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like with my guys, even with Happy for the first two and a half years, um, you know, a lot of people will give their monkeys a stuffy stuffed animal, or a blanket or something like that. Um, and the AKC is for dogs. That is not for monkeys. <laughs> It does not apply to monkeys, but I lost one of my train of thought to reading this. Oh, Mila, I know, baby. We'll just talk about Mila and how pretty she is. But, yeah, don't, if you see a monkey, if it's, like, $1,000 bottle trained and they're going to ship it to you and all that, that is not how that works. Uh, first off, you either have to go get your monkey or it has to be brought to you by a USDA licensed transporter. Hendersonville, North Carolina, the gateway to the Smokies. I know where Hendersonville is. I've been there, Bela. Me and Boo have been there a bunch of times. Somebody says, somebody. Yeah, if you see an ad that says AKC for the monkeys, just put a clown or a laughing emoji because the AKC has nothing to do with primates. I promise they have nothing to do with primates. I mean, there's something, there is something blooming outside. Some Something that, that blooms late is making me want to have sneezies. Hello, Phyllis. So, yeah, the cows was pretty... That was interesting. I never thought about the baby cows having to be pulled from their moms, but for like two days, it was like... Real, you could hear the mamas crying for the babies and the babies crying for the mom, but it was just like, moo, moo, moo. But it was a distressed moo. You could tell. As like I said, the first night we heard those noises, I thought for sure something was down there like trying to get them. And then after a while, I was like, I don't know, man. Like if that was a coyote or something, those cows would kick that coyote across the earth if they wanted to. They're, they're big and strong. And we have a couple bear that hang around out here too. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah. I don't want to see a bear outside. I don't, I just don't want to see a wild bear. Um, this is like the last couple of days I've been noticing it. Something, something around here has, has got me a little bit. But actually since we moved from the other place, like the, there was something down there that I was having way more allergies. I don't know. I moved out to the country and. Most of my allergies went away, but there's something every time I go outside the last couple of days when I'm outside for a few minutes, it makes me want to get the sniffles a little bit. There's something, something out there. But Mila, was, had, she's had a fun afternoon. She said, I rode around. I didn't want a video because I didn't know how she was going to act, but she, uh, she rode on my shoulder and we rode around the yard on the lawnmower. We rode out and seen the chickens and then we rode down to the, to the road and checked the mail and we circled around, and we have a really long driveway with trees growing over it. It's really cool. Yeah. She said, our driveway is longer than a football field. It has canopy trees over it. It's really pretty and shady. Yeah. 
One side it has a meadow and it's nice and green. And the other side it looks like the Blair Witch Woods. Right, Mila? <laughs> See, I don't mess with those woods. You get it, Mila? <laughs> she caught it. Sky raisins. Little miniature sky raisins. Don't touch those buttons, baby. <laughs> Yeah, the first couple of years, it's like actually pretty easy, but like I knew somebody that got a baby monkey that, and she called me and she was younger, I think in her forties. Um, I guess she still has a monkey. I haven't talked to her in a while, but she called me when her monkey was like seven months old and because she couldn't catch it, she's like, what do I do? And I'm going, you can't catch a seven month old monkey. What are you going to do when it's like three, four, five? If you can't catch it at seven months, you're not going to catch an adult monkey. And if you do catch it, you might have wished you didn't. Right, Mila? Yeah. This lived vicariously through us. Uh, we do meet and greets. Uh, actually, October 1st and 2nd, I got to post a video about it. Um, we will be in our, right outside of Orlando in Apopka, Florida at the Care Foundation. Um, I'll be posting on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube about it. But we will be there. Uh, it's their annual open house. The Care Foundation is our animal sanctuary that we work with. So you can come down and see the tigers and Kamara the Liger. He's going to be the biggest kitty on the planet one day. Yeah, the biggest cat in the whole world, if he's not already. Like, uh, once we know that he's passed, we know who the biggest cat is. And it's in the Guinness Book. And because of Monkey Boo, something we done a couple years ago, I have a really good contact with Guinness. So when it's time to weigh Kamara at the Care Foundation, I know who to reach out to, and we'll get him weighed, and then he'll be the biggest kitty in the world. <clears throat> but we'll be there on the 1st and 2nd of October. It's $10 for adults to get in. Um, there's in uh, Florida, $5 for, $10 for adults, $5 for children. And I think first responders is either free or half price. Uh, any kind of police officer or anything like that. And, and I think they're doing a military discount too for half price. So it'll be fun. And uh, Florida Fish and Game will be out there. I think they're, they're bringing some animals out. But the Care Foundation is amazing. There's over 200 animals there. Um, everything from venomous snakes, cobras. There's even a spitting cobra there. Uh, the tigers, the liger. Yeah. There's a, it's really funny. There's a bobcat, a full-grown bobcat that lives in an enclosure with two regular domestic domestic cats. And uh, there's some other animal in there with them besides a cat. But they all live, like, together in harmony. It's, like, really cool. Kristen does an amazing job with those animals, her and her staff. A Nile crocodile, yeah, in Gozi. He's dangerous, ain't he, Mila? Are you covering up? <laughs> Me and Monkey Boo actually touched a Monaco Cobra. Um, what they did is they took it out and they threaded its head into a plastic tube and then they hold it. So there's a video. Boo and I were actually, we, me and Monkey Boo touched a dead. Man, when I, so I touched that snake. It's a, a Monaco Cobra. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. And then I went, of course, I didn't read what would happen if you get bitten by one. And we're in Florida, so I doubt they have venom for that at the hospital, anti-venom. But, uh. Yeah, pretty much you got about 20 minutes, and it's, it's respiratory and uh, central nervous system. Basically, it breaks them down within a few minutes, and it just don't sound very pleasant. It's like, that probably wasn't a good idea. Right, Mila? She said, Daddy, I know you held those big snakes at one time, too. That was crazy. And then uh, they have a big, big python there, and she don't like people in um, I actually went in the enclosure with that python um, while they cleaned the cage. That was walking away. Once again, something I probably wouldn't do. <laughs> the The snake room there at the Care Foundation, everybody's in, an, in a, some kind of aquarium or enclosure. But my Uncle Jeff, he's been there a couple of times with me. He won't even go in the room with the snakes because there's venomous, there's rattlesnakes in there and some other stuff. And uh those, there's three or four cobras in there. And these snakes, like somebody had a spitting cobra as a pet. That's, you know, like, who, who does that? 
But that's what's that's why I really like. That's why I like working with the Care Foundation. They do an amazing job because you know these animals were bought as pets. They didn't have to be purchased as a pet, and then people can't take care of them. They're confiscated because they have them illegally, whatever the reason. But they're able to give them a forever home. So on the first and second, it's their their annual open house. It's kind of got thrown off the last couple of years with all the mess going on, but we will be there. So the Care Foundation. They have their Facebook page you can follow. Um, but you can go around and see. They have monkeys there also. Yeah, Rosie and little Dolly. I mean, I said, those are some of my homegirls. Yeah. Dolly's sweet, uh, but, I mean, Rosie is really sweet. She's a white face, but there's a little bitty female capuchin. She's like, she's real tiny. She's older, but she's so sweet. But I don't think she was always sweet because Dolly don't have any teeth. Um, her teeth were extracted before she got there, but like, so if you guys have seen the videos from the Care Foundation, they have several different enclosures with monkeys. Um, I don't know these monkeys. I don't interact with them all the time. They've learned me and I know them, but like I'll go in the enclosure. There's one that has three or four monkeys and a pet. Rosie, the white faced capuchin, she has a pet pig and she hangs out in that enclosure with the, with the monkeys. I'll go in there, but those monkeys don't really have many teeth. Most of their most of their teeth have been extracted. So um, that's uh, like I don't mind going in that one, but the other ones because these monkeys hang out together all the time. They're a troop inside that enclosure. So if you go in there, if one of those monkeys is like, you know what, I don't like you, and they decide they want to do something, like you're gonna have to deal with every monkey in that enclosure. That's just like they will gang up on you and. Like, like I'm, I, oh, I'm not going in there, baby. I don't. She said, Daddy, don't go in there. Don't. I'm not, baby. I'm not. I'm not going in there. You're so dramatic, Mila. She's spoiled, rotten. What's she want, Mila? What you want, baby girl? You don't need anything right now. We're going to be on here a few more minutes. I'll let you have some dinners. Well, everybody's got to rest up for the big party tomorrow. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can reach out to the Care Foundation or you can message us. It's in Apopka, Florida, October 1st and 2nd. We'll be there for two days, $10. And you get to see all the money goes to the Care Foundation for $10 for adults, $5 for kids. And I, I can't remember if first responders are free or half price. I think they're actually free. So, yeah, it'll be really awesome. And we'll be there. We'll have a table set up where you can meet all the monkeys and do pictures. And you can go around and see all the other amazing animals. Yeah, we made a lot of friends there last year. We went, last year they did, it wasn't their open house. It was another event we did there in April. We, got to, we made a lot of friends there. A lot of people got to come meet Monkey Boo in person. Yeah, and Mila and Happy. Erica, that's probably helping moderate the live right now. That's where, well, I'd, know, I'd spoken to Erica several times. The, the canvas paintings that Boo has done over the years, uh, the first one that Boo ever done was because of Erica. She sent one, and I'd never, I never even thought to get him a canvas, and I threw one down in front of him, and he painted it up for it. Hers is purple and stuff. And I found one that Boo did in... Sometime in 2016, I'm going to show it to you guys. I should have showed it to you in the office. Like, we might do some kind of giveaway or something with it. Right? Oh, look. You, you play with Boo on my shirt. So, definitely not very many people watching our live right now, but I'll be making more announcements. But October 1st and 2nd, if you live close to Central Florida, definitely make you some plans to be there. Uh, the last open house they had like that, uh, usually... About a thousand people a day come through, so it's a it's a big event. There'll be food vendors there, and like I said, Florida Fish and Wildlife comes out, and they I think they bring animals out. It's a it's a fun time, yeah, for everybody. Well, Judy, you gotta watch us out more often. She said she hadn't seen, she hadn't seen us in ages. Me, you're so sweet, baby. Oh, 
бывает. So yeah, we're we're driving the RV down to Florida, um, and that's where we'll be crashing at at night for the nights we're there. Oh yeah, Mila, we're gonna stop at the tattoo place on the way down. Erica's gonna be in town. She's going down with us. I'm gonna see if I can talk Erica into getting her monkey boo tattoo, like that one. I don't know where she's gonna get it at. I was giving her a hard time. Erica's grown, but I was like. Are you going to ask your mom and dad? <laughs> She's like, I don't have to ask my mom and dad. I'm grown. She's 30-something. That's all we'll say. Yeah. But she's coming down. It's like, uh, it's down to like two weeks. She's already got her bag packed. Is Erica coming to see you, Mila? Is she going to come hang out with us? Yeah. Oh, I hear... B! <laughs> Happy! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> it's like Wild Kingdom up in here. Oh, there's the doggies. I got sound off too. Yeah, look how pretty you are. <laughs> so, yeah, they were, they, the vet met Mila first. They were just so impressed with how she looked and how well behaved she was. And then we took Happy down, and, you know, Happy. Mila's daddy's girl. She's friendly, but she's like, look here, you keep your distance, and I'm gonna stick here with my daddy. But uh, the uh, when, but then when I took Happy down, you know, Happy gives hugs to everybody. He's just Happy's a lover. They just thought that was they love that so much getting to interact with Happy. And of course, the, some of the girls there had already watched lots of videos of the monkey, so like getting to meet them that was really really cool to them. So that was awesome. And then me and Mila went in the place, and uh, remember Mila? It was, they sold food in there. I didn't know. We were getting some produce, and I just acted like it, Mila was my C&I monkey. I was like, I was like, but how can I see? <laughs> Come get on my shoulder, baby. Yep. Good girl. See, M Mila, this is good. monkeyboo.com yes uh, the t-shirts are actually through if you go on YouTube or that link on the Boo's Facebook homepage that is the Teespring shop and then if you go to Boo's website that would be the spread shirt shop there's actually two different shops we do t-shirts out of and yes they do ship to the UK I don't have any idea what the shipping prices to there are but they, we do it they do ship there the reason we do them through there is so we can stock all different sizes and colors of the different designs. Yeah. I and mean, there's uh, some people I talked to today. I actually had a, a phone meeting with them today. And we're working on some Monkey Boo, uh, like, digital art paintings. But they're gonna, we're going to have some. They're going to send us some for me. And then we're going to do a giveaway. And then we'll have links where you can actually go and purchase them also. I think we're going to do one of... Each monkey individually, and then there'll be one of all three of them together. Right, Mila? Are you giving daddy groomings? Are you checking me out? Oh, it's kisses. Does daddy taste delicious? There's nothing on me. You're not picking stuff off of me, Mila. Quit acting like that. Quit. She's like, take your hat off. I want to fix your hair. Stop, Mila. Oh. You pretty girl? Are you a princess? Are you the princess? Yes. Um, Dan Carpenter just said his wife wants a monkey. Dan, tell your wife, listen, if she, don't, if she don't believe that I said this, take her back and show her the video. I have literally, I've had Boo for 13 years. I have seen monkeys cause at least a dozen divorces. I, and of those dozen, at least a dozen, 
divorces. Not only did it cause a divorce, um, once it was just one of them, they wouldn't like over half those times they weren't able to take care of the monkeys. Um, I, like I'll spit these numbers out. These, these are not exaggerated numbers. I know I've had Boo for 13 years. I know over personally people that I know over a hundred people that have gotten a capuchin monkey. Um, five of them, four of them still have their monkey. One of them is this little girl right here. She come to live with me at two years old. So like people just don't realize what you're getting yourself into. And these, these monkeys, like I seen a lady on TikTok that was like, they're just like dogs. They're, they, they're bred in captivity. And they, no, it's not like a dog. These monkeys are, they're a non-human primate. We're a primate. We're a human primate, not a human primate. We're not that far apart. Yes, they have emotions. They experience happiness, sadness, and all that stuff at a much higher level than dogs do, I promise. So if you got a monkey and if it does something like it shouldn't do at three to four years and you can't control it anymore and you want to give it up, like like the only home it's ever known it's leaving from. And that's that's just not cool. That's why, you know, I can't I can't screen everybody and even the most the people that seem like they could handle it and really do it at two or three years, they might say, man, I can't do this. I'm throwing in the towel and they give up their monkey. Like I've had people call me all the time that have monkeys and be like, you want another monkey? I'm like, nah, I'm <laughs> like, like, why did you get one? If you can't take care of it, but people are, people don't always listen. They think they can do it, but it's so much work. Nothing. No, it's like, uh, Honestly, it's more like having... Mila, get back up here, baby. Come here. She said, I got to look under here and just make sure there's not... Okay, come on. It's uh, it's really more like having a special needs child that never leaves the house. They don't grow up and do stuff on their own. Yeah, it's a, it's a lifetime commitment. It's a way of life. It's not a pet. Right, Mila? I know Mila... My, my, my monkeys make it look really easy, but I promise, guys, it's not that easy. Oh, okay, Mila. All right, Miss Miss Thing. So we might go live again after a while, but so we'll be live tomorrow. So we're having a birthday celebration. We're going to film videos too. And Daddy's going to make a video of me riding on the lawnmower while he's cutting grass. I didn't think Mila would ride. I knew Happy would, who would, but I wasn't sure about Mila, but she stayed right on my shoulder. And Mila don't seem to be scared of the swimming pool at all. I splashed some water on her earlier. I didn't, I didn't want to do that on video <laughs> in case she got mad at me. But she, she, I think she might actually get in the pool. Yeah. Oh, are you touching her? Whoa, whoa, you're going to mess up the thing up, Mila. She's touching, she's just touching Mila's face. She says, I see Mila. No, no, don't hit that button. Come up here, come back on my shoulder. Good girl. See, this is so good. All right, Miss Mila. Look, you, you got about 3,200 stars. Thank you, guys. There comes some more from Devon Rigsby. Does this say Devon Rigsby? Thank you. Mila, Mila, are you showing off the guns? Well, hold on, I didn't sell tickets to the gun show, so I can't. You can't be ex exposing my arms. No. Give oh, kiss. Oh, that's a sweet kiss. <laughs> All right, Miss Mila, come here. Give me a shot. Yep. Hey, where's Mila? At? Why is she not on my shoulder? There she is. All right, guys, so thanks for hanging out with us. I hope everybody has a great Friday night. Yeah. Everybody going to have a great Friday, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. So we might say, Mila said, we might go live again after a while. We'll see, I'll see if I can talk Daddy into it. I got a lot of work to get ready for the, uh, so we have look, there's stuff for the grown-ups tomorrow, lots of drinks and chips and stuff like that. We'll have a watermelon. <laughs> it's a party. Boo, you want some watermelon tomorrow? Happy? Okay. All right, Miss Mila. So tomorrow is Monkey Happy's birthday. Hashtag happy birthday, Monkey Happy. We will send it out on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and everything. Let everybody know. Where's Boo? Where is Boo? <laughs> what are you doing, babe? He said, I'm making messes. All right, so yeah, we got a lot of work to do still. Mm. Lots of work. Let's get let's get started on the work, Mila. All right, baby. 
Let's give everybody one more kiss. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. You guys are awesome. Thank you, everybody, who sent stars. It just jumped up to 3,400. Tammy Co. said, happy, happy birthday. And then Carol, Carol said, happy birthday, happy. Happy. Carol said, happy birthday. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Mila. See, Mila said, wait, wait till I do my bath video. She's like, I'll show you guys how to relax and take a relaxing bath. Yeah. All right, guys. So thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you guys tomorrow, later tonight, or definitely tomorrow. All day long, we'll be live on and off. It's a celebration. <laughs> you thought I was going to say the Rick James part, didn't you? It's a celebration. All right, guys. See ya.